Hey you guys, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. So this class is gonna be a twisting flow. It is meant for all levels, but if there are parts in the class where you find a little bit more challenging, make sure you modify the posture and make it work for your body. So it's always nice to have a couple blocks. So if you have those, grab those. Otherwise, all you really need is a mat and maybe a water bottle and towel and you're good to go. So we're gonna start off right away. We're gonna turn a face the front of the mat and come into either a child's pose or you can be more in a puppy. So if you're doing child's pose, your knees can go wide or they can go closer together as you send the hips back and bring the forehead to the floor. If you want puppy, your hips are gonna be lifted a little bit, walk the hands forwards, bring your forehead to the block or maybe the ground. So either way, just get situated there. We'll take a few breaths, just allowing yourself to arrive. So shut down the eyes. Just notice how your inhales and exhales are moving currently right now. You're gonna come forwards into a table. So bring your shoulders right over top of the wrists, knees underneath the hips. Leave your left hand where it is. You're gonna reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the right. Draw the needle. So you're gonna take your right arm underneath. You're gonna hover the arm as you reach over to the left side and hover your right ear above the floor. And again, take that right arm back up towards the ceiling and then take it under, thread the needle. So one more time, reach that right arm up. And then this time, take it under. You're going to ground that right arm as well as that right ear. So you're going to come onto your left fingertips. Push the fingertips in the ground as you draw that left shoulder back. So you're lifting the chest to the ceiling without shifting all your weight to the right. So try to keep even weight through your knees. Stabilize through your pelvis. And then sweep that right arm back up towards the ceiling. And take your right hand down onto the floor. Now reach your left arm up and take it underneath. So you're gonna hover that arm as you reach over to the right. So you're gonna do that again. Left arm back up and then take it under, reach to the right. And then one more time, reach your left arm up and then take it under. You're gonna ground the arm as well as the left ear. Come onto your right fingertips. Keep drawing that right shoulder back, chest lifts. And then sweep that left arm back up towards the ceiling. And then set your hand down onto the ground. Some regular cat cows, lift your chest forwards and the tail one up. And then round and push away from the floor. So you're gonna continue with your cat cows, making it whatever it needs to be. So maybe you wanna add some circles to the rib cage, the hips. Moving the hips forwards and backwards. Just listening to your body and letting that guide you. One more round. And then come into a neutral spine. So I want you to bring your left knee more towards center and take your right leg straight back, lift the leg. So the toes are facing the ground. Now take your right knee over to your left arm. So you're gonna cross it underneath. Right knee to the left arm, get it as high as you can on the left arm and then send that right leg straight back. Do it again, take that right knee to the left arm, get it high up on the arm and then send it back. And then one more time, right knee, left arm, Send it back and then bring that knee into your nose. Step down in between the hands. So you might have to reach for your foot to help step forwards. Low lunge, reach both arms up towards the ceiling. You're gonna interlace the hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. Start to lift your chest up and then just lean back. So let the head fall into the hands, lift the chest to the ceiling. And then set your left hand down to the inside of your right foot and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. So pull that top hand away from the bottom hand. Tuck your left toes under and pick up your back knee. So bring that left heel right above the toes. Hug the right hip back. Set your right hand down to the inside of the right foot. You're going to walk over to the left side. So your feet are parallel. Press down to the outer edges of both feet. Skater, you're going to bend into that left knee. So actively press that knee open. And then shift over to the right side. So bend in the right knee naturally. Straighten out through the left. 
And then just go side to side, waking up the hips. Now you're going to bend into your left leg and we'll meet there. So we're going to pivot to face the back of your mat. So your hands are going to frame your left foot, turn on the ball of your back foot, and set your right knee down to the floor. Your left hand's going to come to your left thigh. Your right arm's going to reach up towards the ceiling. So you're going to lift out of the hips first and then just lean over to the left. Create a little space there. Then your right elbow is going to come down the outside of that left thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer. So as you press the palm of the hands together, roll that left shoulder back and lift the chest. One more breath here. And then set both hands down on the floor, framing your left foot. Keep your right knee on the ground. I just want you to take your left leg straight back with the toes on the floor. Now turn your right toes over to the right side. Drop your left heel down. You're going to open up your hips to the left and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. You're going to hover that right hand above the floor. And you're going to do little tiny pulses here. So try not to go too high. Just little tiny pulses. And then come all the way up. You're going to reverse it. So left hand just rests on that left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. And then windmill your hands down to the ground. So you're facing the back of your mat. Step back into plank. Bend your elbows. You're going to lower yourself all the way down to the floor. You can use your knees or not. Untuck the toes. Baby cobra. Chest comes forwards and up. And then lower down. Tuck your toes under. Press yourself into table. And then child's pose. Come back into that table. Bring your right knee in towards center. Take your left leg straight back and lift the leg. So take your left knee to the right arm. Get it as high as you can on that arm. And then send it straight back. Again, left knee, right arm. And then send it back. And then one more time. Left knee, right arm. Send it back. And then this time, bring your knee into your nose. Step your foot down in between the hands. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Hands come behind the back of the head, elbows wide. So you're going to lift up first, then lean back into the hand. Right hand comes down to the inside of that left foot. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Tuck your back toes under. Pick up your back knee. And then set your hand down to the inside of the foot. You're going to walk yourself over to the right side. So feet parallel to the short ends and come into those skater lunges. So bend into the right leg. Going side to side so you can either use your hands or not. And then next time you bend into the right leg, we'll meet there. Pivot to face the front of your mat. Hands frame your right foot. Set your left knee down onto the floor. Right hand to your right thigh. Your left arm is going to come forwards and up. Lift out of the hips and lean over to the right. Left elbow comes down the outside of that right thigh. Bring your hands together in prayer. Draw that right shoulder back. Lift the chest. And set the hands down onto the ground. So keep your left knee on the floor. You're just taking that right leg straight back. Toes on the ground. Pivot to your left toes to face the left side. Rotate your hips to the right and reach your right arm up. Left hand is going to hover and just start to do little tiny pulses. And then reverse it. So right hand just rests gently on that right leg, left arm up and over. And then windmill your hands down onto the ground. Step back into plank. Whether the knees are up or down, you're going to bend the elbows and lower yourself all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, baby cobra. And then lower it down. Tuck your toes under, this time table or plank. And come into downward dog. Lift your heels up, bend the knees so you can hop or step. Come to the top of the mat. Fingertips to the shins. You're going to lift up halfway. And then fold into your legs. Coming to stand, reach both arms up. Hands come together, hard prayer. Both arms reach up. Fold forwards into your legs. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. 
and then fold down and step back, downward dog. Come forwards in a plank, shoulders over top of the wrists. Lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Untuck the toes, baby cobra. Well, maybe you feel ready for up dog. And then lower to the floor, tuck your toes under, table or plank. Come into downward dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mats. Your hands are coming to your feet. Your feet can either be hip distance apart or you can walk the feet together. Bend your knees, press through the heels, lower the hips down and come in a chair. Just bring your hands together in prayer. So find that adduction with the inner thighs, meaning hug the thighs in towards one another. Take a big breath in to create space. Exhale, twist to the right. So you're gonna take your left elbow to the outside of that right thigh, draw the right shoulder back, open the chest to the right. So try to keep the hips low rather than tipping the hips up. Root through the heels. Keeping those hips low, bring yourself to center and then twist to the other side. So take the right elbow to the outside of that left thigh. Draw the left shoulder back and then open the chest to the left. Most importantly, breathe. Don't hold it in. <laughs> and then fold over top of the legs. Walk your hands forwards and come into downward dog. Whew. How are we doing? <laughs> bring your big toes to touch. So engaging through those inner thighs, lift the heels up to send the hips further back. Then take your right leg to the ceiling so the toes face the ground. Take that right knee to the left arm as you bring the shoulders over top of the wrist, maybe the fingers, get the knee high. And then send that right leg back up, three-legged dog. So you're going to do two more like that. Take that right knee to the left arm, shoulders come forwards. And then send it back up. One more time, right knee, left arm. And then take that right leg up. This time center, so bring your knee to your nose. Step down in between the hands, back knee lowers to the floor. Low lunge, both arms sweep up. Hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide, lift the chest up, and then lean back. Easy twist, so your left hand's gonna come to the floor, right arm up to the ceiling, pick up your back knee. Right hand comes down to the inside of that right foot. You're gonna walk yourself over to the left. Now you can either do skater or skandasana. So the skandasana has that X rotation from the hips. Pivot to face the back of the mat. So your hands are gonna frame your left foot, turn on the ball of your right foot and set your right knee down to the floor. Left hand to your left thigh, your right arm's gonna come forwards and up. Lift out of the hips first, then lean over to the left. And take that right elbow to the outside of that left thigh. Hands come together in prayer. Now you can stay where you are. You can tuck your back toes under and pick up your back knee. Maybe you want to play around with the arms. Maybe you want to open up the arms, come into a half bind or full bind. Whatever feels nice for you. Don't just crank yourself into something, though. All right. Now set both hands down onto the ground. Step your left foot back so you're in a plank. Heels fall to the right, so you can do that supported plank with the right knee on the floor, or left arm up towards the ceiling. Whether your knee is on the floor or not, you're going to lift that left leg up as high as it can go. And then set your hand down, set your foot down, and come into plank. Chaturanga, bend the elbows, lower down. Baby cobra or up dog. And we'll meet in downward dog. Whew. Walk your hands back to your feet. So again, either feet hip distance or bring your feet together, bend the knees, lower the hips, come into your chair. Take an inhale, create space. Exhale, twist to the right, so left elbow to the outside of that thigh. Maybe you wanna play around with opening the arms this time or finding a half bind, maybe a full bind. Keep the hips low, bring yourself to center and then twist over to the left. Keep that adduction with the inner thighs. One more breath here. And then fold into the legs. Walk your hands forwards and come into downward dog. Big toes touch. Heels lift. Send the hips back and take your left leg to the ceiling. Cross it underneath you. Left knee, right arm, shoulders over top of the wrist. Get it high. And then take that left leg back up. Again, left knee, right arm. And then send it back up. 
One more time, left knee, right arm. Make sure that left shoulder isn't going way in front of the right. And then take that left leg up. This time come center, bring your knee to your nose. Step down in between the hands. Back knee lowers, low lunge, both arms reach up. Hands behind the back of the head, elbows wide. Chest lifts and then lean back. Right hand down, tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee, easy twist, left arm to the ceiling. Set your hand down, walk over to the right side, skater or skandasana, you're bending into the right leg. Pivot to face the front now, so your hands frame your right foot, you're on the ball of that left foot, set your left knee down. Right hand to your right thigh, left arm comes forwards and up. Lean over to the right and take that left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. Hands come together, rotate the chest to the right. So again, you're staying here. You can pick up your back knee or maybe you're opening the arms or finding a bind. Both hands come down to the floor. Send that right leg back and we're coming into that side plank. So your heels to the left. Again, you have the option to drop that left knee, right arm up towards the ceiling. And then we'll all lift that right leg as high as it can go. Set your right hand down, followed by the right foot. Lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Once you come down on the ground, untuck the toes. You can stack your hands, rest your forehead on the hands. You can reach your arms back and let your shoulder ground in. Just after all that twisting, let your belly completely relax into the ground. Settle in here, catch your breath. If you have one, you're down to switch ears. We're just going to flip over onto our backs. So as you come onto your back, just bring your feet together, let your knees fall open. If you have blocks or pillows, you can slide them underneath the thighs. Take your arms wherever is comfortable for you. They can be on the body, they can be on the floor, they can be over the head. And let yourself settle. And it's really easy to skip this part, but try to stay here with me for the last couple minutes of class. This is still your time. Bring your knees in the center and then just let your knees rock side to side. Next time your knees fall over to the left, you can stay here, you can bring your knees closer together, anything that feels nice for this reclined twist. And same side, so take your knees over to the right.
and bring yourself back to center. And hug both knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around the shins, lift your chest towards your thighs, and then completely let it go. So legs out in front of you, arms down to the ground, palms up. Feel your entire body weight in the ground. And so I highly encourage you to try to spend a couple minutes here in stillness before you leave your mat today. Thank you so much for joining me. Always be humble and be kind. Thank you. Namaste.